Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a dorm room tour. I felt like this could be beneficial for somebody out there and also I could just keep it as a memory to remember what my room looked like and how I um, decorated it since I am graduating in May. So if you want to find out how I decorated my room and what it looks like, just keep on watching. But before you continue watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video and don't forget to comment. I like to interact with you guys, get to know you guys. You guys can get to know me. And also, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys. When you first walk in, the door is actually behind me. This is kind of like the first thing that you see. So I'll kind of just give you guys a quick little sweep through all right and then like i said the door is just right behind me so from the door you have the light switch which obviously controls the light in the room then if you keep going down the wall i have my little like closet area so i just hang all my shirts then below that i have all of my shoes I have on a shoe rack, which I actually got from Aldi. And then above my clothes hanging, I keep my towels. That's an oven mitt. And then I have all of my utensils, like forks, spoons, um, anything to cook with. And then I have a steamer. And then I got those two bins from Target. And then in those bins, I have like beauty stuff and like loofahs and shampoo and anything extra. And then in that bin, I actually have Tupperware, so like containers um, to put like extra food when I cook. And then if you keep going down below, I have a George Foreman grill. I keep my vacuum over here. And then this is actually just a cooler that I bring food in when I'm going from home to here and I go grocery shopping. I just put everything in this cooler so it stays cold when I'm driving over here. And then that is actually just stuff that I need, need to bring home that I'm going home this weekend. I'm bringing, so I just put that there so I don't forget it. All right, so on the next wall, I just have my bed. This is a, this, this is a twin size bed and I kind of lifted it a little bit just so I could put some stuff on the bottom and we can kind of just go through the bottom stuff real quick. So right here is obviously my hamper for my dirty clothes. Right here is all of my cooking stuff, so pots, pans, plates, cutting boards, all that good stuff. And then here is just a bin full of snacks, like you can see chips and applesauce and little things like that and like cans and all that. I keep that in there. And then down there is kind of just miscellaneous stuff that I kind of just brought, like I have... Um, like bags and stuff and then like an extra pan and then I think like I have like other like random cleaning supplies that I've never used is kind of just chilling in there and then in the back you can kind of see but I kind of just keep like all my boxes that I put on my t that I got my textbooks in and then in that corner I have water and toilet paper and then down in this corner I keep extra juice because it doesn't fit in my fridge and then I just keep all of my bags that I carry clothes in if I'm going somewhere for the weekend. I have all of that in there. And then I also, that like dark spot right there is actually my suitcase that I uh, brought all of my clothes in. All right, so moving right along to this next wall, I actually still have my two balloons from Valentine's Day. So those are just chilling there. And then right here I have my dresser. So on my dresser, I just have all of my makeup stuff. I have body sprays, lotions, hair stuff. And then I also have face stuff, Kleenex, jewelry, brushes, band-aids, mirror, toothbrush, toothpaste. This is kind of just all the beauty stuff that I use on a daily basis that I'm always reaching for. So I just keep this on the top right here so it's just easily accessible. And then in the first drawer, I just have um, like tank tops, socks, underwear, bras. That's kind of just what I have in that first drawer. And then in the second drawer, I have workout tops, PJ tops, just random shirts. Um, 
like chill bottoms and then I also have workout bottoms and then these are PJ bottoms mixed in with long sleeve shirt because I didn't fit in the bottom drawer. So that's the second drawer. And then in the last drawer, I have long sleeve shirts, which I actually need to take home because it's starting to get super, super hot. So I definitely don't need those anymore. Then I just have jeans. I have two piles of jeans. Then I have shorts. And then actually in the back, I have like more professional pants or if I need to go like an interview or just anything like any event that I need to go to and I need to dress more like business casual type of clothing is all just back there all right so moving right along um right here is kind of like my little kitchen that I have in my room we have a bigger kitchen but I just like to keep my stuff in my room so on the top I just have cups some oil some spices this has all spices in it salt pepper cooking spray flour all that good stuff and then this is my fridge it's a pretty decent size um i can show you guys the inside of it so that's just what's going on in there and then if you move more down the wall i just have an extension cord with all my plugs for my computer and anything else that i need to charge and then moving right along I just have my desk. All right, so at my desk, I just have like a few spices cause I do eat here. So, um, so I just keep those there, just haven't moved them back over there. I have my computer. This is my view of the lake, it's amazing. I was so lucky to get this room. Then moving right along, I just have my TV. And my printer this is a lifesaver if you want if anything you need to invest in is definitely a printer like it is the most convenient thing to have in your room just any printer honestly you don't even need a fancy printer just any type of printer trust me it's a lifesaver so down on the desk we actually have these little things that pull out that you can just keep in mine is a little junky but that's because i've been using it we just have calculators um pens pencils highlighters receipts papers my planner my case for my um, laptop whenever i need to go somewhere and then um below that is just empty and then it also just comes with a chair and then on the other side of that which is what i just pulled out we have this other little section that you can also pull out so you have kind of more room to work with when you're doing homework and then just below this we have the first drawer the first drawer i kind of just keep with like my main supply stuff and more important things so right here i just have like important papers that i need or just quick notes um i just have some folders for class um some gift cards for like groceries ink um note cards just miscellaneous stuff and then in the second drawer i have an extra computer that I'm actually trying to fix. Um, just some pens, some books that I need for class, and then I just have a ton of GRE books that I need to start studying actually. And then moving to the last drawer, I actually just keep an extra pair of sheets so that I always have clean sheets when I need to change them out. So just have that in there. I also have a desk lamp if I ever need one. And then um, some printer paper and some watercolors that I got for Valentine's Day because we did some like art project. And then um, just some other random stuff that I have from the house. And then the last thing is this little corner. Um, in this corner, I have a lot going on um so i keep my purses over here so i just have my regular um backpack purse a smaller purse another purse um i keep some cleaning stuff that i always reach for so just like some clorox wipes some lysol spray and then some garbage bags and then this whole bin right here is all cleaning stuff laundry stuff um stuff to clean the toilet do laundry with um just clean anything in my room is all in that bin and then down here is just more school stuff. So I just have um, a folder, some binders, 
some more binders, and then just some books. Um, I keep these here because I actually don't fit in these drawers right here. So I just keep them down here, and it's actually easy for me to just reach over and grab them. All right, and then the last thing is just this last wall by the door, which is right there. It's just a mirror, and then on my actual door, I just hang up um, like an extra towel, um, some jackets, some rain jackets, some cardigans, anything like that. I kind of just hang up on the door since I don't really have anything else. I also hang up hats on there. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, so it kind of just saves space in my room. Alright, so just give you guys one more little walk through. Um, if you guys have like any questions about any of the stuff that I have in my room, just let me know. And I will gladly answer them for you guys. And there's the door. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I am actually going to be filming a what I packed and how I packed to come to college because I feel like I did pack a little different. I kind of want to just share those tips and tricks that I felt like made my moving in process a little bit easier. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you for watching and thank you for the support. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.